here with two of the Danny Rocco's players here on my left, defensive lineman Jacob Pierce on my right, wide receiver Ben Edwards. I'm going to begin with Jacob. Rebound year last year for the Richmond Spiders. Yes, How important was that for the program to get back to the winning ways and contending for a conference championship? Yes, sir. Um, last year after we uh, beat our rival, William & Mary, and uh, got to share the, the conference championship that really put a, gave us a lot of momentum heading into the off season. Um, but I think a lot of guys would also uh, agree, and I know Ben would agree as well, that uh, not making the playoffs kind of uh, left a bitter taste in our mouth. Um, but I think that even gave us even more confidence and inspiration to, to work hard in the off season um, and to get better every day. Now on the defensive line, you get to play with two really good players in Kerry Wynn and Evan Kelly. Talk about playing with those two guys and what are y'all's expectations going into this year? Yes, sir. Um, Evan and Kerry, obviously tremendous athletes. They're fast, uh, physical players. Um, playing alongside them is a tremendous honor. Um, the expectations for the defense in 2013 couldn't be any higher in, in my, uh, my reasoning. Uh, the defense, we return uh, all of our defensive linemen from last year, a majority of our linebacking core and secondary. Um, so we have, we have high hopes for the 2013 season. You do have to replace Cooper Taylor. Talk about the competition at that spot, who replaces him and some of the guys that are in the mix. Definitely. Uh, Cooper is obviously a tremendous player, tremendous athlete, uh, and an even better person. Um, we do have some guys in the secondary, some older guys, some younger guys. Um, Reggie Barnett is an experienced player um, in the secondary. Uh, he's played a lot of football. Uh, uh, David Jones, uh, one of our younger players, really stepped up during the offseason and uh, during spring ball and really had a uh, tremendous spring and put a lot of work in. So we're ha looking for him to step up as well this season. Now, Cooper Taylor, of course, exciting news coming out of the program, was drafted in the fifth round by the New York Giants in this past NFL draft. Uh, have you kept in touch with him, and how is he doing up there getting ready for his first NFL training camp? I have. Um, I actually talked to Cooper a few weeks ago. Um, I talked on the phone with him and congratulated him on his success. Uh, obviously, getting drafted is a tremendous honor. Um, I think uh, talking with him, one of the big takeaways he had was playing for a coach like Coach Rocco and defensive coordinator and Bob Trott really prepared him well uh, for the NFL, and I think he's really excited about the opportunity to move forward. Well, very uh, good luck this year. Thank you very much, Jacob. Now over here with Ben Edwards. Ben, you guys, one of the co-champions, but we're left out of the playoffs. What was it like last year when that news broke, and how, what were you able to take away from that? Uh, I think, like Jake mentioned, uh, very disappointed. Uh, that we're very happy that we won the conference championship to share the conference championship. But at the same time, very disappointed because we knew that if we were given the opportunity to go to the playoffs, that we would make some noise. Uh, our team had a lot of momentum, four games straight, and we're really looking forward to it. But at the same time, it didn't happen, and you got to move forward. You got to move on. That's exactly what we did this off season. Is we just prepared even harder in the weight room and on the field, and just getting ready for the season. We're very motivated. Very motivated. You led the league last year with 80 receptions. What have you done this offseason to, to even be better in 2013? I think I've tried to focus on every aspect of being a wide receiver and being a leader, um, trying to just motivate the, the other wide receivers as much as I possibly can to get better each and every day, as well as myself, because I know focusing on little things, all the fundamentals are very important to being a wide receiver. And at the same time, I also know that um, a lot of defenses are going to try and uh, – make things happen uh, to try and shut me down and at the same time if they were to try to do that we have so many other wide receivers that would be able to play and make big plays for us. Stephen Barnett, Rashad Ponder, a new guy in Shane Savage, a young guy in Reggie Diggs, a lot of really good players and I'm just trying to make sure I'm ex as explosive as possible and ready to go. Now your quarterback Michael Strauss coming into the year as a starting quarterback. He came in for an injured John Lobb last year and really kind of he kept it going, kept the train going, won the last four games of the regular season. Yeah. What are the expectations for him this year now going in as the starting quarterback? Very high expectations, very high. I think uh, against New Hampshire when we lost John Law, that was a big loss for us. But at the same time, our team always has the mentality that's the next guy up. And Strauss came in, won four games straight for us. Big game against JMU, Rhode Island, Delaware, William Mary, and ended up leading us to a share of the conference championship. And we couldn't be more excited and couldn't have higher standards for Michael Strauss. I think his confidence is up. He prepares hard. He works hard. He has a 
offensive line. We return our, our offensive line. I know he's confident back there sitting in the pocket. So with all the wide receivers on top of that and some very dominant defense or tight ends that we have. So I'm very excited about that. And I know that he's excited about it and confident. Now, last year, we just talked to your head coach, Danny Rocco. Last year, you guys, it was his first season at the helm. Well, we assess his first year as a head coach for the Richmond Spiders, and what is this off season? Has this off season been any different than last year when he came in? Yeah, it's, it's going to be different when a new coaching staff comes in. I, we returned a couple of our uh, previous coaching staff members, but bringing in a new staff, offensive coordinator, um, a new head coach, I think things are going to be different. You have to adjust. You have to learn new offense and new different schemes and. I think we adjusted really well. Um, coach uh, Rocco came in. He did an amazing job of changing the culture. Went from 0 and 8 in one season to 6 and 2 in the next season in conference, and bringing ourselves back into uh, championship contenders. And so, just uh, just really excited uh, about what he's doing with our team, and just really ready to get to work. All right, well, Ben and Jacob, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, the Richmond Spiders looking to contend once again this season, 2013.